sound does the horse make? <laughs> Good morning, Monday. It's Monday morning. What time is it, baby? What time is it? It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I done scratched about four things off my calendar that I done got done this morning, man. Had a seven o'clock Zoom meeting, another nine o'clock Zoom meeting. I went and went to the uh, dealership and had to get my car maintenance already this morning. Came back and playing with Baby Roski in Houston. And we're making music. We're in the studio right now. We're in the lab going ham. Tell me your song, Houston. But yeah, man, I just want to encourage everybody to have an attitude of gratitude this week, man. If God has blessed you with uh, a, a job that's paying you decent money, be happy with that job, but strive for better, man. God wants you to be great. And we all got it in us, man. We just got to be motivated, self-motivated, be disciplined. You know what I'm talking about? Do you follow me? Be disciplined. Kingston missed the bus, so he's over there learning online Zoom class today. Y'all see him in the cut? Y'all see him in the cut over there? Well, I hope y'all have a prosperous work week. It's Monday. You know, I'm, I want to give a big shout out to everybody who signed up for the luchigangbootcamp.com. Everybody who signed up at luchigangbootcamp.com. Uh, I'm proud of y'all, man. Y'all taking a step to, uh, to better yourselves. And I'm proud of y'all. And it's not going to be easy. It's not an easy challenge. It's not an easy thing to give something up or to start doing something or start waking up early or start reading every day. It's not easy, especially when you're not used to it. So shout out to everybody uh, who signed up. Yeah, man, you still got time. October 1st is when we start. So if you haven't took that initiative, go ahead and uh, go to luchigangbootcamp.com. We are going to begin our day. I'm about to go get dressed. Kelly's uh, about to get dressed and then we're going to start our day. We got to go look at some wedding. What? What? Wedding what? We have to go take care of some stuff for the wedding. We have to go take care of some stuff for our wedding that's coming up. So yeah, man. Hope you have a great day. You watching Luciano TV. A little bit of Monday motivation before we go. Kingston was saying he wanted a, a better gaming setup. To stream. To stream. No, but I wasn't saying I wanted a better one. And I'm telling him, you got to start off with what you got. So if you got a little bit, don't wait till you got more before you start. Start with what you got. Start small and grow that thing, man. Even if it's a little bit. If you got a YouTube channel with five subscribers, man, put content up for them five subscribers and watch that thing grow. Stay interactive with those five subscribers and watch that thing grow, man. Don't wait till you got a lot before you can start. Because you know what? You might not never have a lot if you continue to wait. All right, guys. I was supposed to... Do my Zoom classes because if you miss school now, you have to you can go like on Zoom from home, and for some reason it keeps on like is my computer open right now? Oh no, I shut it. I was gonna show you what happened. He said I'm the host of the meeting, the Zoom meeting. I was like, what the? And I, and I kept on printing. They said like if you're the host, start the meeting or something. And I was like, I'm not the host. So then it was like I was trying to like figure it out and stuff, and it was just weird. It didn't work. So I mean. I guess it's my lucky day. What can I say? Yeah, guys, it's my lucky day, so I think we're about to leave the house, too. So I'm going to get on my shoes. And I'm dipping out the house. Let's go. Beautiful. My mom might say this show's going to drop me off. So I'm kind of scared, guys. Because my dad was like, oh, yeah, you could stay. But my mom, my mom is probably going to say, like, we should drop you off at school and stuff. And I'm like, don't do that. I'm going to my room, guys. Hold on. Okay. My mom probably wants to drop me off at school. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just... Because... Just a maybe. But, um... I do not want that to happen, guys. So, wish me luck. I'm going to try to stay home. My, I mean, I try to do my Zoom classes. So, Mom, I know you're going to be watching this. I tried to do my Zoom classes. Just didn't work out. All right. Now I'll collect y'all later. Oh! Wrong side. Wrong side. Deuce. All right, Lucha Gang, we're about to head out, but before we go, we are going to have a protein shake for lunch. So oh, okay, okay. That's what we have going on right here, and we just wanted to update y'all. We have, like, a lot of stuff to do, and we're, like, starting off a little late, but Lucky took care of, like, all the morning stuff before 
I got ready and everything. So he took one for the team. Um, type in the comments. Let me know what your day is doing or looking like today. No, type in the comments down below and let us know how your day has been going. It is 12.36 and we gotta be there at 1 and we're still on our side of town. So I'm thinking we're gonna be a little late. So the situation that we're having to go handle right now at the venue is the first time that y'all came with us and we went to the venue to pick out our linens, we weren't so convinced. So after like talking to Lucky and like looking at some inspo pictures like we told her that we just basically wanted all white like I, we just want all white well lucky was the one that said we should just do all white and like gold i wanted like white and like a beige champagne color yeah so the centerpieces are gold and um i don't know like so i just basically sent her some inspo pictures and she said she would have a new setup for us so we can go look at it and then we have to sign off on it but that's what's happening and then i also think we're gonna be looking at flowers we went to speak to one florist but she actually didn't come through for us because she said the month of february she was gonna be busy and yada yada yada, yada. so that happened and that kind of pushed us back when we thought we had the flowers set that put us you know um and let me add this i did not know how much people spend on flowers did i already tell them this no man we was in there and the lady was talking about uh yeah she was showing us pictures of some flowers she was like this couple spent 13. so i was like okay that ain't bad i'm thinking 1300 and then she walked off and kelly was like she didn't mean 1300 she meant 13,000. and i was like no she didn't and then she she came back and I was like, excuse me, did you mean 1300 or 13000 She was like, 13000 I was like, man, I ain't spending no, nowhere near no 13 racks on some flowers that's just going to die. But the thing is, like a lot of weddings, they do actual centerpieces that are made out of real flowers. But basically, the centerpiece is like a flower uh, arrangement. And we're not doing that. I feel like everything is falling into place. We got most of the big stuff out of the way, which is the venue, and then like we're like in the look for a florist, my dress, and the food and stuff like that. So I'm thinking, I mean, I feel like other people like freak out at the fact that their wedding is like in a couple months, and we're just like, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna show up with our suit on and our dress on be like what's happening pastor Juan read the bible let's get it on I feel like people like really stress out about weddings and we're just acting like it's nothing or whatever but yeah and God got us guys got us God got perfect timing he know what kind of flowers we need and you know what I'm saying we another thing right. another thing that like we need to get done is a photo shoot babe I keep telling you this but we need to have a photo shoot for like the actual wedding pictures like um all right, we're gonna go try on a suit. When you walk in, you know, this you suit. see like a, a picture of us. Um, so we need to go do that. And I've been talking about it for like two months and nothing. Um, I haven't gone to go look for a dress for that because I'm not letting Lucky see the dress. So, so how are we gonna take pictures together if I can't see the dress? The day of, we're gonna take pictures together with my dress, but we're gonna have a photo shoot for like the wedding. And but I can see that dress. Yeah, but I'm not gonna have the dress dress. Yeah. I'm gonna have a different dress on. So we need to do that also, but for the most part, you guys, the wedding planning it's is still it's still happening behind scenes, but yeah, we're not really like panicking or stressing about it. <sighs> Alright, well side note. I need help coming up with a title to my new album that's about to drop October 31st on Halloween. You know what I'm saying? The, the devil gonna get a beat down this Halloween because we coming with that, that good spiritual music. October 31st. The album is complete. I got about two songs that need to get finished, mixed, and mastered. But other than that, it's done. All I gotta do is come up with a name. Y'all type in the comments down below and give me a name which y'all think we should call the new album. I'm gonna let the Lucci gang name it. 
might even give the winner or whatever picks whatever name we choose i might even give you a surprise might give you a ticket to the wedding <laughs> might let you come to the wedding right? o-m-g so i guess um you didn't know i'm selling tickets to the wedding baby. no i didn't yes. that's why i'm just like Ur. i'm selling tickets to the wedding 29.99 what do you mean you're selling tickets to the wedding like i have a whole list of our guests you want to come you <laughs> I'll update y'all once we pull up to the venue. I wanted to show y'all, I hope y'all can hear me because it is pretty windy. Um, I wanted to show y'all this right here. So this is where we're gonna have our ceremony and this is basically why we need the flowers, mainly for the ceremony. I do want a whole bunch of flowers inside the venue. Like he's like, it's gonna be too windy. Y'all aren't gonna be able to hear me. But so we're gonna do the ceremony here. Don't mind the trailers, that won't be there. Uh, we're gonna have like a whole setup with chairs and like the little runner right here. I really am like getting butterflies inside just thinking about it. Like I'm gonna walk right here. Dun, 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 dun. I'll be right here posted up with my cane and my hat. Like, okay. I'm gonna turn around like, oh, you cold. Man, got cold out here. I know. So. And they ain't gonna say, you may kiss the bride. I'm gonna give you a big wet one. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I am. It's pretty big. Like, like when I look at it in the car, when I'm parked, I can't really, like, I couldn't tell it was this big. But it's big. Like, it's a big area right there. Um, they just got here, so we gotta go talk to them and do all that other stuff. Kingston is in the car with the babies. Babies are asleep, so that's what's happening. After you, my dear. Thank you so much. Yeah, I know. It's pretty hot in here. I think they're still trying to set up. This looks nice, too. This blue. Yeah, but we ain't doing no blue. It's okay. All right, so I just finished talking to Monica. We're gonna go with her. We got the florist on deck. I'm vlogging. Oh, this is going on YouTube. <laughs> it's okay. So Monica's bride's touch of glitz flowers is gonna We're hook us up. To get to work with you guys. We are too. Thank you so much. Thank you for trusting us. So we did. We did okay. Took about an hour to sit there and talk about some flowers. An hour and a half. And I, I like this lady's prices better. Made a lot more sense. So I think we're gonna go with her. We are gonna go with her. So huge shout out to um, Gabby and Monica. She is basically just a florist, but she also recommended us to get a coordinator. And uh, long story short, um, she is going to email us some stuff and we are gonna get the whole flower deal going i'm excited i wanted to remind everybody that did sign up for the lucha gang boot camp 90 day challenge to down check your email and make sure you check your email and if you didn't get it in your email check your spam email and you download the kajabi app because that's where all the instructions are going to be. And it gives you the uh, link to the Facebook group that we created strictly for the people that um, joined the 90 Day Boot Camp Challenge. And that's where you'd be able to, uh, you know, if you got any questions or if you want to uh, post your pictures or your videos of how you're doing, you do that in the Facebook group. So shout out to everybody who joined the Facebook group. And we got a whole bunch of people that... Um, joined the 90 day challenge but we only got probably like 50 people that joined the facebook group so make sure you join the facebook group because that's where you know you'll be able to get some if you have questions about any book or anything you got to download or anything you got to do or if you just want to post some or just to be, if you want to get some encouragement yeah because it's going to be challenging and you want to get a support system and we all there in a as a community supporting each other you know what i'm saying so make sure you join the facebook group Hey. Know what I'm saying? There was so much traffic. We just now hopped on 45, which is like the main freeway that takes us to the, our house. And I'm 
starving. And we thought we were going to go get some drive through but it's about that time to go pick up the girls. So, we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hungry, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> And we just went in, like we legit were like. And it happens every time I go and you go together. Because he goes his separate way with his car, and I go my separate way with my car. But it's okay though because we are trying our best to stay like in a budget, um, so we don't want to go out to eat as much. And like basically we have goals, and we're trying to like meet those goals. So we're trying to be disciplined with going out to eat over the next thirty days. Well, so, really the next, like, 60, the rest of the year, yeah. basically. Um, and we legit spent today at the grocery store what we would have spent, like, Going out to eat in like days. the whole day. You know what I'm saying? Like, like when Lucky and I go eat, it'd be, like, lunch and then breakfast sometimes and then, like, dinner. And then it's just, like, we just spent a whole check right there. So we're gonna cut back on that. We're heading home. We've got a whole trunk full of groceries. We're gonna get situated and eat because we still have not ate. And it is 4.42. I'm gonna go home and make me something right now. <laughs> what are you gonna make for dinner? Let's, let's talk about this right uh, now. Before we get in an argument at home. What, do, what are you gonna make for, what do you want for dinner? I have my Cause I got something on my mind. What do you want? Shells, hamburger meat, go ahead. and tomato sauce. Go ahead because I got my meal prepped. Or I could just make a sandwich, turkey. I got stuff to make a good old turkey sandwich with some chips and hot sauce. Yeah, I think you should do that. Wait till like have the big meal for some other day. So, fun fact, our nanny says she cooks. So we got everything we need for her to make us some shrimp. Cajun, pasta. Cajun shrimp pasta tomorrow. So she's gonna make that for lunch for us and I'm just like, oh my god, my mouth is <laughs> watering. So that'll be my cheat day. Um, I am going to go run tomorrow morning. I went today, I'm so proud of myself. Cause Lucky had just came back home from his run and he was like, babe, get ready. And I was like, uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna go back to sleep. But then he was like, you are? And that kind of made me feel like, Oh, I gotta get up. If you want to see a change in your spouse, if you want to see a change in your kids, you be that change, and they'll, you know, what I'm saying, take, take. Uh, what am I trying to say? Basically, lead by example, and they will follow along. And but when you do see them following along, and you do see, uh, for instance, Kelly getting up and running this morning, you gotta compliment that and be like, "I'm proud of you for running. Good job. I'm good. I'm, you know, what I'm saying that makes me happy when you join me on my run. You know what I'm saying? So. Congratulate them when they do something good, but you ain't got to like down them when they don't do it. You know what I mean? You just continue to do your thing and be the best person that you can be. So that way it'll rub off on your household. Partners, if you are the partner, then make sure that you're growing with your partner because you and don't- You're going to grow separate ways yeah, and then your you partner going to turn around and look and be like, hey man, we don't click Two no different levels. Yeah. You don't want to grow apart. Um, and that's an obstacle that you might hit if you're not trying to like Grow. level up yourself, yeah. you know? So you don't, you don't want your partner to level up and then you get stuck down here and then a couple years pass and then your partner's like, you know, we ain't clicking. Yeah. So Grow I together. encourage y'all, yeah, I encourage y'all to motivate each other and um, just basically bring each other up. So heading home, baby Rose stunk up the whole entire car. I can I smell, smell him. I smell him like really, really, really bad. It stinks. But I'm gonna get home and get situated and see y'all tomorrow. Yeah, upload this vlog. We love y'all. Take care. I got some birthday shout outs for y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Hold up. God bless y'all. In Jesus' name. Can I get a cookie? Yeah. I have gum in my mouth. But. Can I get one, Easton? My day went pretty swell. I didn't have to do my school. Holy.
Pretty yeah, and Gigi's gonna share that with me. No, I'm not. So, you gonna give me a bite? The last time you got your own spoon and put your spoon in mine. Please, so. Well, get back to At least give me a meatball. Oh, my bad. Mmm. So yummy. And everybody's home right now while chilling at the house. That's this is. Fun. Look, Houston, what is all this? Oh, my Why do you have such a big mess right here? And you got a Lunchable. What is this nonsense? What are you doing? Oh, my gosh. Houston's being a, being a bad mess right now. I'm making all this mess. Um, you, you wouldn't, would you mind giving me another bite? I love it, dude. no more. <laughs> Let's go check on my dad. What are you doing? I'm writing in my calendar. It's very important that you have a calendar and you live by this calendar and you start writing what you have to do uh, the next day in the calendar and then scratching it off your list. Pointer from Uncle Luck, Coach Luck. Take some advice, man, take some advice. I think I wanna give a birthday shout out to Brittany Winfield. Happy birthday, Brittany. Also, Lincoln Medina, happy birthday, Lincoln. I understand y'all birthdays just passed, so happy belated birthday to y'all. Also, Lito Santian, happy birthday, Lito. Last but not least, Felix Hernandez and his daughter named Kay Lynn turning seven years old. Happy birthday to y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss tomorrow's vlog. We got a special episode. We are introducing our new nanny.